So I got a question or two on the last video about how I install my traction boards on the pickup shell here. And it seems like every time I post a picture of this truck uh, on a forum or in a Facebook group, that's what everybody wants to know is how I attach these here. I chose to put them on the side because being a short guy, I don't want to be climbing up on top there all the time. Uh, and I want them to be readily accessible if I do need them because I don't want to take apart my whole truck just to get traction boards out to get myself unstuck. So I'll kind of show you how I've got these mounted up here. So the mount is very simple. Um, this is... The, the base of it is just these two uh, aluminum flat stock pieces here. So I think I went to like a Tractor Supply or Ace Hardware, whatever your local hardware store is. That's an eighth inch aluminum flat stock. Um, you know, they sell it in like a four foot section. Just buy that, cut it down to whatever size you need to cross your windows. And that's kind of the basis of it. So the hardware then to go... Um, into the truck. I actually used eye bolts, which I'll show you on the inside, because I wanted something that I could then run bungee cords across or um, tie line or whatever you want to use to maybe secure something inside or hang curtains or whatever it is you choose to do inside your truck. Like I have mine set up that I can sleep back there. It's not quite as built out as it was in the video just because I was actually using it to do truck things. But Inside of here, you can see that I've got the eye bolts. I run a bungee through there. It keeps some um, pipe and some hose for my diesel heater uh, secure. And then I've got one up top too. So if I wanted to hang curtains or something, I can. But it's usually fine with just the traction boards up there. It's a decent amount of privacy. So I have two traction boards mounted. These are from uh, Rough Country, but there's a million different manufacturers of these. Max Trax is kind of like the popular name brand ones. Um, but you can buy Amazon ones that everybody makes different kind of recovery boards now, but in general, recovery board would be your, your generic name for them. So, like I said, I cut the flat stock to size, and then I used a spacer and a large fender washer to lift the aluminum away from the bed cap, and then just bolted that down, and then covered those exposed ends with these um, black little nipples that I just bought off of Amazon. So you just have to get the correct size for whatever hardware you're using. So I'll pull the boards off of here and then I can show you kind of how the boards are secured then to the brackets. So that's what it looks like then when the boards are off, just to show you and get a better idea of how this is attached here. So like I said, you get your fender washer, a spacer, another washer, um, another washer on the opposite side and then a nut same thing top and bottom these are longer eye bolts and then this bolt i believe is a three and a half or four inch bolt obviously just depending on whatever size your traction boards are or how thick they are you'll have to get the appropriate size for that but that's just threaded i'm sorry not threaded through there's a hole drilled in there it's slid through and then bolted on um, so that that's not going anywhere and then the traction boards just slide onto there using either the holes that are existing or in my case i drilled some holes and then these knobs were also available uh, just at your local hardware store so you put those on there tighten them down and then they're not going anywhere um, you could see before that i had the bike lock up there it's just when i'm driving around on a daily basis that somebody doesn't take those off of there uh, but then if i'm on a trip or something i'll pop that off once we get to the trail it's just so that if i need to get them off i can get them off a little quicker but they go on pretty easy see if I can manage it one-handed and there you have it then they're back on so I'll have to do a video too on what this uh, big giant pipe cap goes to as well it's for my diesel heater I'll show you how I have that set up but if you're curious on how I attach the boards that's how I do it